All right. Thank you very much for having me. I'm uh, To give you a little bit of background, I'm a former member of the Back of Yale team here at Protocol Labs. And so it's very nice to be back here at IPFS camp with uh, a lot of f- uh, familiar faces. And uh, over the past year, I've been working on a project called Eigenlayer, which is building a restaking um, capability on Ethereum. And what's funny is I think a lot of that community is not yet fully aware of all the, the power and really cool technology that folks are building out in the uh, IPFS ecosystem. And so this project is to make, just kind of prove some concepts and also make them more aware of what is possible. All right, so a couple challenges that I'd love to help with uh, around, uh, around IPFS. First of all, IPFS is extremely powerful, and I don't think it has enough adoption in the broader crypto Web3 ecosystem. Um, IPFS is mostly peer-to-peer. It, it could benefit from an incentive layer to have folks run IPFS nodes. Um, self-hosting an IPFS server is difficult, so I think some folks that are very Solidity smart contract oriented, if it's not crypto incentivized, if it doesn't have a token, and it can't run on an autonomous network, they may just skip past it entirely. Um, so if we could build a system that was crypto native and was e- entirely trustless, uh, I think it could grow the adoption of IPFS in Web3. And so this is an example, a proof of concept of how that might work. And so if you put in the term decentralized IPFS pinning service into ChatGPT, the first suggestion it gives you is the term conception. <laughs> so that's how it came up with the name. Um, so the, the premise was, can I take the benefits of all the great work that's going on to uh, IPFS Kubo? Can we add shared security with Eigenlayer and basically add decentralized trust to IPFS binary? And that's the goal of the conception AVS. So <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully the pun, the pun hits. Um, so quick uh, one minute on what is Eigenlayer to give you guys a bit of context. Uh, there's three entities in Eigenlayer. There is the restaker, the person who brings the capital. There's the operator who can run any service. It's a generic operator. And there's the smart folks that are writing the individual services, the AVS developer. They all work together. The restaker delegates their capital to the operator. The operator then chooses any number of services that they wish to run. If they run those services well, they get a reward. If they run those services inaccurately, according to the protocol, they get slashed a portion of their funds. Very similar to something like Filecoin, but genericized for a lot of different use cases. And particularly initially, it's getting a lot of use in the Ethereum ecosystem for things like bridges and oracles. Um, we're building in-house a DA solution, so you'll see that there. But now folks are starting to branch out into more, I would say, tri- more ro- more complicated or robust infrastructure things like database, storage, AI inference, and just sort of a variety of tasks. Basically, anything that you can build as a service and also have an on-chain provable component to it can be an, uh, an ABS. And so... Uh, this really is meant to be a rudimentary example of how to build an IPFS service on Eigenlayer. There's a lot of smart folks in this room and in other rooms that are, can build this better and with better algorithms, and I very much welcome your feedback along the way. But the premise is basically, could I send a uh, request on-chain on the Ethereum or an L2 to say there's a, a CID that I want to pin um, and then trigger a network of these IPFS operators to then pin that file and if they pin it correctly and do some series of, of uh, verification mechanisms, they are actively pinning it, um, then they get a reward. If they're not, and depending on how the algorithm plays out, if they're not, you can confirm that they're not, uh, then they would be slashed uh, effectively. And so the AVS contract on uh, Ethereum would be responsible for managing the requests for the users. Um, and so it's sort of like a simple task management service required for this. At the highest level, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to take Kubo as it is today without modifying Kubo in any sense um, and say, how can we use that in this Eigenlayer ecosystem? So on the Ethereum layer here, you've got the Eigenlayer core contracts, which are responsible for stakers and operators. You've got the AVS specific contracts, which are responsible for which request is response or, or being pinned. And then I create a very simple lightweight daemon. It could be any language you want. I chose JavaScript just because it's easy to get started. Um, And then that daemon is interacting with Kubo. It's saying, I heard a request on chain to pin some files. Now for this operator, I'm going to go and I'm going to pin that file. And every other operator in the network is doing exactly the same thing. Um, So this is just a very simple early 
example, oh, here we go. So it's, it's again, it's lightweight JavaScript code, off-the-shelf Docker container, and then the two of those can be orchestrated using any technology that you prefer for the operator. So I do have, um, in, in the absence of time, I have a demo recorded if you're interested to see how it works. Um, there's a couple different forks on there. Some of them are further along in terms of building this out and integrating it. And uh, even the verification process could be very simplistic or could be very robust. Um, if you're interested uh, either in like ideas about how this could be architected or in particular, if you have use cases for decentralized IPFS pinning, please reach out to me or uh, join the discussion on the, uh, the GitHub repo. Uh, and uh, my team is here, Build on Eigen. We're the developer relations team at Eigenlayer. We'd love to hear back from you as well. And that is all I have. So thank you very much for letting me speak. Appreciate it. Cheers.